User interface and Python. Are you freaking kidding me? Is that even possible? Turns out it is with the latest fast UI package released by PyDiatic. And that's what we're going to explore today. Here is the fast UI GitHub repository. And here is my project setup. So let's get started. Um, for this, this does have a lot of documentation for us to start with. Something very evident is it's closely integrated with Pydantic and also very closely integrated with FastAPI. So let's install all of that. For that, pip install Ubicon, FastAPI, Pydantic, and then of course, FastUI. Let's install all of that. This is going to take us some time. I already have a virtual environment in place so that all of that is installed. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy paste this whole chunk of code and put it in main.py this is for me to figure out what's going on with this whole thing now let's run this uvicon main colon app and how do i know this because i use fast api almost every day so somewhere here there is a fast api app and that's what we are referring to in the python command uh in the uvicon command so now we have the uvicon server running let's open this voila there is all your name and date of birth. Here is your items. So that was pretty easy and straightforward. And that's not what we are here to do. We are here to learn more about it. So from the looks of it, there is a user model. This is a Pydantic model. And then we have a bunch of users created here. And inside that, there is an API component. Um, there's an API route where the response model is a first UI model and response model is include none. I don't know what that is yet. Let's figure that out. So this is going to return as a page with components, with heading and a table. So that's the table that we saw here on the landing page. So this is going to call this API and return this table. Similarly, uh, when I click on a particular user ID, what it's doing is it's returning this heading, link and everything. So that's pretty much the two APIs. And and HTML response class aid. In the full demo, there is a lot more things that you can explore. There's markdown uh, by which this uh, whole site is displayed. See, that's me. That's very cute. And then you can do text, paragraphs, page title, button, and whatnot. You can literally build a whole thing here. And you can do tables, authentications, or uh, you can build forms, all of that. There's not enough documentation on this yet, but it's available. At least we will have some amount of examples for us to go from here. Now to feed my personal curiosity, I'm going to try something with Markdown. App.get of, and if you notice, like all the routes should start with slash API. So slash API slash Markdown, response model is fast UI, and then all that. Then I'm just going to let it paste a bunch of things, heading one, and then after a snippet, we're going to print hello, and enough of that, I guess. Yeah, and enough of that, followed by all the closing. So that's your markdown page. And to access this page, you no longer do API slash markdown, rather you just go to Let's go to slash markdown. And there we have the markdown page with the ILO and everything. 